It would have been nice to have my dad around when I was growing up, but I guess they just didn't work out. Like, their stuff didn't work out, so they called it quits when I was, like, two. So I was with my mom for a really long time, and she was kind of the woman that I kind of depended on. And she was everything that I had, and, you know, it's someone that I looked up to and admired, and whenever I was scared or I felt frightened, I looked at her, and, you know, I would get comfort. Around, like, I would say seven, eight years old, uh, she met another guy. You know, he was this type of dude, just to give you an idea, he was all a guy about power and um, about money and, and his, his line of work and his environment was something that, something you only see in movies. You know, I remember a vivid image of my brother in the bathtub with cold water running down his body. He must have been like, I don't know, like two years old. And his dad was in there screaming at him at the top of his lungs, telling him, men don't cry. Men don't cry. When my brother maybe turned like five, my mom called it quits with that guy. And it was a relief, like, no more dealing with my brother crying or my mom freaking out or, or that nightmare. Everything seemed to be all right. You know, and then soon after, around my, I guess, 15 or so, my mom met another, another guy. So uh, we moved, we moved to a new place and um, everything seemed cool for a while, but then, like anything else, it just, the nightmare became again, and I remember this, this day again, you know, he was screaming with my brother, but this time around, I wasn't just gonna stand there for it. You know, I remember this day, I got a crowbar, and we were gonna go at it. And I just told her, me or him, man, me or him. I'm blood, he's not. I'll never forget these words. Don't make me choose. And right there, life again, like, froze, time froze, everything froze, and I was like, what the heck, bro? Is there anybody out there that you know that can help? And I was always searching for something to the point where I hit rock bottom. And I had this one guy that was always close to me, he was always my friend, and um, you know, he would soon become my best friend, my brother, and his name was Joel Cruz. He, uh, one day I called, I was like, yo, I can't take it no more. I can't take it anymore. It was around my, my early 20s. And he goes, come to church, man, just come with me to church. And I was like, all right, dude, I'll go. I remember sitting down, this one guy, uh, JD, came and he just started talking to me. And I was like, man, that's pretty cool. Like, you know, they're seeking, like, you know, to talk to me, it's, it's comfortable. And, and I stayed. I, I've gained some mentors, I've built some families. You know, Frank and I, Lou, are my mentors. I look for them for everything. Whenever I needed help with, with scripture or with trying to understand the word, they're there for me, not only with scripture, but they're there for me as like parents, you know? They're there for me and they have the doors open for me whenever I need them. Realistically is when you're born with God, then you really make a difference. You know, that's, that's when life begins. And, and I knew that from the very first day that I got baptized, something was gonna be different in my life, and it was. You know, everything has changed from now, from now to that point. You know, but you still have those questions, like, you know, you know, am I gonna be successful? Am I gonna have a business again? Am I gonna have, you know, a family? Am I gonna, you know, are people gonna like me? Am I gonna be part of that world, you know? Honestly, what I would want is, you know, to have a, a loving wife, you know, loving children, that I can leave my legacy behind. Also to have a successful business that honors God and, 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 and represents the image of what God is. And, and hopefully one day do something within the ministry, you know, whether preach or, or be involved or really mentor younger generations like, like myself. There is nothing in this world like God. There is no end to his possibilities. Come on, a guy that created the universe is walking by your side daily. <laughs> Why would you trade that for anything else? Inspiration. I would, I would call my story inspiration.
You know, you, you come from a world where everything is broken and life is difficult and you don't know where to escape to and where to walk to and you feel that where you feel broken, he shatters that image and rebuilds a new image for you. And, and that's why I think I'm a walking inspiration, you know. I mean, that's really the last thing that I can say.